Shinovsky is an MD, uh, L-I-G-T-M-S. I, I'm sorry, Melody, I should explain. That stands for lucky I got through medical school. <laughs> in order to be the best you can be in your work, in order to be the best you can be in your personal life, you must have your health. And when I say health, by the way, I don't mean just physical health. I mean mental, of course, emotional, social, spiritual, every kind of health. Stash, he said, don't you start your programs by encouraging people that they are responsible for their own health? I said, well, sure. <laughs> well, I had some fast food for lunch today. Had a bacon cheeseburger and a Milky Way. Then I drink a cola set. What the hey? The doctor won't know I've been eating this way. That's right, your doctor can't follow you around making sure your diet is really sound. But if you eat the junk foods every day, in the end, you're going to pay. <laughs> Tell me, do you exercise? Man, walking and jogging are really a bore. Getting out of bed is enough of a chore. I don't need those aches and pains and sweat. And when you do aerobics, that's what you get. So keeping hearts healthy, it really pays. But walking and jogging aren't the only ways. Swimming, hiking, biking, the choices abound. But your doctor can't follow you around. 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 Oh, this is uh, pretty fun to try to be cool rapper, yeah? <laughs> Um, first major, I'd like to make a few comments, and I promise I don't lecture to you, is about nutrition. And the first thing I would say is everybody needs to eat food, right? Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it's true, I ate there, I know. There are 17,000 diets on the market. 17,000. And the fact of the matter is, it's just very simple. It's how much you take in, how much you burn up. So please, my friends, you don't have to make this complicated. Now, if there is something that works for you, I think that's great. The problem with some of the specialized diets is once you go off that specialized diet, then very often people gain that weight right back. What would it be like if the Phantom of the Opera woke up one morning and realized he's starting to gain some weight? Hey, you're looking pudgy, bulgy. Here and there, I know that it's not easy. That pizza looks so cheesy. Maybe it's the burgers, ice cream, candy bars. Oh, yes, they taste so nummy. I see them on our tummy. Say you work with me to stop this madness. Say we'll cut down on the calories. Say we'll eat less fat, more fruits and veggies. Just a pound here or there will help. It's true. That's all I ask of you. Yeah, and I don't know, when you hear this song, do you hear still some Polish accent, my dear? No. Not too much? Wow, isn't that cool and groovy how that works? <laughs> there is no doubt that in my mind, exercise, ladies and gentlemen, is so important to overall well-being. Do you know that people who exercise regularly, my friends, they have less anxiety and less depression in life. Yeah, it helps to even out the mood swings. My friends, walking is something that everybody almost can do. I thought to myself, come on, you can't get your heart rate up in the target zone just by walking, that's silly. But then I realized they're not talking slow walking, they are talking fast walking. And I just demonstrate very short here for you. See, not, I used to think they were saying like this, oh yeah, this is great exercise. Oh, I'm almost sweating. No. No, they're not talking just ambling. That's called ambling, you know, very slow. What they're talking is fast like this. 
See, I don't have much room to, to do this for you, but see like this. And I encourage you to lift your arms like this, because that gets the upper body involved. You double your pleasure. And um, you know, just demonstrating a little bit like this. Already I get a little bit stinky, my friends. Sure. Here, smell that, but <laughs> He says, no, no, no. <laughs> I just kid you. I really use my left guard so you don't have to worry. <laughs> when I talk about exercise, one of the big mistakes that people sometimes make, and I will have people come up to me and say, Stash, you really encourage me and I'm going to start jogging 10 miles every day. And I go, whoa, time out. We better talk this over. Because ladies and gentlemen, if you try to bite off too much, you cannot chew it. You hear that phrase? Yeah. And you have to take little steps back to fitness not take big leaps because you will probably fail. The problem now of course is to simply hold your horses to rush would be a prime job nice and easy does it every time So what is the message I bring about fitness? A life full of exercise really does pay For strong bones and muscle We all have to hustle We must get hot and stinky So let's start today When I talk about stress, I, I always mention that if we don't control the stress in our life, which by the way is a very healthy thing, we need some stress just to be healthy, but too much stress of course is not so healthy. And so that's the balance, we try to keep balance. But if you don't control chronic elevated levels of stress, it will control you. Again, every relationship takes work. I always tell people, if you assume and you take for granted any relationship, your relationship with each other at work, my friends, your relationship with your loved ones, friends, I don't care who it is. The fact of the matter is they require effort to stay healthy. Must be doing something wrong, baby, I don't know. But the goldfish is floating at the top of the bowl. And the doggy won't eat, he just lays around. All night long, he makes a mournful sound. Well, I know I had it coming, and it's all my fault. But baby, come back, or you kill us all. Yeah, I love that. Get it, buddy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friends, one of the most depressing parts of my speaking when I first started was that I'd have people come up, you know, afterwards and say, Stash, boy, I really like your program. Oh, that was fun program. However, I can't do it. I cannot you know, lose weight. I cannot uh, start the exercise program and stick with it. I cannot control the stress in my life. And so I decided I need to encourage people that, first of all, yes, it is hard to make changes. Um, making the choices we need to is not really easy at all. And that's what it's all about. It's making healthy choices. I'm making choices that are out of sight. I'm making choices that I know are right. I'm starting to take better care. I'm living life with a new pair. I'm really grooving. Things are improving. Yes, I'm happy as a lark. My marriage has a brand new spark. My wife, she told me she likes to hold me. I made the choice to always exercise. I want to get rid of these thunder thighs. I go for brisk walks every day. I'm taking much more time to play. I'm feeling better in all kinds of weather. If you follow this advice and make a little sacrifice, you'll be testifying that I'm not lying. I'm 
so hip, it blows my mind. It's time for me to tell you the truth. Uh, I am not Stash Dubchanovsky at all. I'm really Mark Potuk, the guy that was supposed to be here. And I know probably some of you are a little bit suspicious about all that. But I am Polish. Any stories that I've shared with you folks about my family are all true. Um, the only thing I lied about is that I'm not a physician of any kind. I am an educator by training, uh, taught at the middle school level, and for the last 10 years I've been speaking uh, coast to coast to all kinds of audiences. I hope you don't mind my pulling your leg a little bit. I, I have found that the best way for me to inspire, try to inspire people to take good care of themselves is to have a lot of fun. Um, again, I thank you so much for being a wonderful audience, and I just wish you the very best, always. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.